What's happening everyone? We got a real special review for you guys. We are reviewing um, the McAllen coordination bottling. This is two 35CL bottles released in 2013. Yep. So uh, what's it celebrating, Mike? You go ahead and explain and I'll kind of show off the box here a little bit too. You got it. Celebrating the 60th anniversary of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. So she was made queen, became queen 1953, and 60 years later, celebrating her anniversary, 60 years as queen. So this bottle, which is sherry season oak casks, but American sherry oak casks, is a picture of her when she first became queen, 1953. And we have that in the, in the booklet here. I guess I'll show you guys. Yeah, no this age statement. Cool. So it's that's got, the, from 1953, the picture oh right yeah, there. Yeah, big picture, yeah. That's celebrating this bottle right here, the American Oak Cherry. Yep. Which is much lighter in color. You can tell. And then this guy, which is Spanish Sherry Oak Cask. From, yeah, from absolutely European, from Spain. Sherry Oak Casks this is and the picture that's, 60 years later, 60. 2013. And then this guy, the dark one, is bottled 58.1%. And the light or golden color is ABV 55.7%. So both heavy hitters. So in a way, they don't say this, but, but it seems know. like, yeah. You know what they're going for. They're going for younger whiskey, American oak. Young queen. Young queen. Older whiskey. European oak. This was released in 2013. And in 2013, McAllen was still a little bit more willing to put out their, their uh, good stuff. Uh, they're a little less willing to do that without charging an extreme premium. And um, there was uh, how many bottles of this? 1950. 1953, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like the year she became queen. That's right. And uh, it was only at the distillery, and I believe at the time it was like 550 pounds or something like that. I, don't quote me on that because we got this at an auction That's shortly true. after. Yeah. Um, currently, you know, the Whiskey Exchange is selling this for over $5,000, and at auctions it goes for probably over $3,000. So... Um, it is not cheap, and I know in terms of liquid, this is the killer whiskey that's sought after. So essentially, in terms of whiskey, people are paying that much money for a half bottle. So it's not true. It's a collector's item as well, obviously. This, this is a little icing on the yeah, cake it's right a not, I, Yeah, it's not just a half bottle. It's the, this, the collector's this item. This is the monster. Yeah, absolutely. So we decided to obviously review them together. So. And uh, it's weird to compare because they're completely opposite. There's nothing to compare. So we'll just kind of review them kind of one at a time. We'll start with this one right here. Uh, as Mike said, it's 55.7% ABV. And uh, even though it's American oak cherry, it's very light in color. Oh, yeah. These have both been breathing for 20 minutes plus. Yeah, due to the high, rather high ABV. Yeah. Helps. On the nose. Right off the bat, a real creamy butterscotch and vanilla pop up right up the front. Golden raisins. French crepes with powdered sugar. Like Narby said, Narby was saying earlier, we were talking before we started, this definitely knows is more like a, maybe a third fill, fourth fill, you know, kind of diluted sherry. Not a crazy powerful, you know, monster sherry bomb, definitely lighter elements. I would not think this is a sherry whiskey if you gave this to me blind, not just because of the color. Yeah, no. But it's got, you know, it's that vanilla, creamy, butterscotch, golden raisins, yeah. like I mentioned, um, getting some apricots. 
No, that's the other thing. When I when I first tried this, it screamed out more ex bourbon cask. Yeah, but it is yeah. high quality. Oh, it yeah. de it definitely is high quality. And there there's some beautiful, luscious, juicy uh, tropical fruits in there, which you know screams out bourbon cask. But definitely, along with like Gnarby said, your typical bourbon cask elements for sure. Yeah, and it's a little bit of little car caramel in there as well. But I'm not getting like figs or you know dates or anything like that it's it's yeah. all it's all the more on the like more on the light, lighter side yeah chocolate or fudge or treacle like that it definitely um definitely not age sherry not like old you know bookstore old antique dust like that no but it's i, I don't think um definitely a younger it, it definitely doesn't nose like a super young whiskey either no no like definitely i i mean my my guess is this is around 20 years old I don't. I don't think this is like a twelve-year-old whiskey at all. No, no, no. They obviously don't tell you. There's no age statement on these. Anything else to add? Should we hit the palate? Sure. Yeah, I'd say like between like around eighteen to twenty years, something like that. Yeah, it's. It's got it's not overly complex, but it's got that creaminess and um, it's not rough at all. It's kind of smoothened out, really, really yeah, smooth and creamy. And it kind of gives you that big burst. And if it has sat in like a third or fourth fill, like you suggested, you know, the cask is not gonna leak give off a ton. Yeah. It's nice. Definitely, get, you get those apricots and kind of peaches with the butterscotch and vanilla and crepes, honey, golden raisins. It's nice. Yeah, nice, nice breakfast treats. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's good. Let's do the palate. All right, man. Yeah, definitely my favorite is the tropical fruits. Mm. Scotch, creamy, creamy, luxurious mouthfeel, Ooh. rich vanilla, tiny bit of alcohol bite, but worth it for all the powerful flavors, deep, rich flavors you get. Alcohol goes away right away. Smooth, silk, but then drying in the back of your palate, making you want another sip. Super juicy, luscious tropical fruits, going nuts, apricots, mangoes, just soaked. Soaked in juice and syrup. Really, really bomb. It says in the back here that it's been matured in cherry casks. It tells you. If it didn't say that, I, 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 don't I, it. I yeah. I don't believe it. That's what I was telling them earlier. Mike's like, what? You don't believe what it's writing in there? Because it just <laughs> doesn't seem like it's cherry. Yeah, but, look at the color. But yeah. It's uh. Damn. Or it's it's like not this quality, but it's like Bowmore style sherry. It's like light sherry, but it's crazy tropical. Fruits. You, you know what I appreciated, and I wonder if in two thousand eighteen, if they would do this. They're releasing <laughs> both of them at cask strength. No, I don't know they would. They, and, and for the for the price they released it, you know, considering it's a a collector's item, a quality whiskey on top of it. Are you kidding me? Um, they could have easily brought this down to forty three percent. And sold it for the same price. It would have oh, sold out yeah. equally as fast, right? Yeah. So de definitely, today if they did yeah, de definitely uh, appreciate the fact that they kept us at this strength because um, that's that's pretty rare these days. Yeah. Cast straight and count. Yeah, we have, we have not being fine and rare. Haven't tried this this particular one, as you guys can see. This we've one had got better. Yeah, we, better. we've seen. Uh, we've tried this one yeah, more. We don't that one. But um, but yeah, this is this it's is impressing me right now. From the first time we tried it. Yeah. First glance. One more yeah, sip. With water. As you can see, we've been having some fun with this guy. This guy's a little been saving it. But yeah, definitely it gets better each time. I am getting with the addition of water and perhaps it opening up a, a bit more, the caramel and toffee flavors are coming out a little bit more now. Could be the water. The more I go back and get it, it just screams out bourbon. Oh yeah. Super high quality aged yeah. ex bourbon cast. Doesn't smell like Macallan. Yeah, no, hell no. Well, so I was joking, saying like how the old Bowmores say sherry cask, but it's just like pure, juicy, tropical. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is more like that on the fruit side. And definitely not your typical Macallan sherry. Very enjoyable. This One more sip with water. Nice. 
the age, when you add water, the age, the richness, the depth of the fruits is coming out a lot more. And the toffee and the butterscotch, buttercream, vanilla, oh, so much lemon, lemon and mangoes and apricots. Kumquats, oh my God, the fruits get better and better and better with water. Wonderful. Very cool though, because it might, might end up being two different sides of Macau. You know, when I tried, um, I can't remember if the 1965, um, the 65-year-old the Macallan Leak that I tried oh, it was, um, I think that's aged in sherry as well, and it was like this, that. Like that more. Yeah. I really want to know how old this is. I think it's got some good age to it. it it's just quality. We've been, we've been looking. It's hard to find. And the mouth feel. much information on it. The I know the mouth feel screams feel, age. The mouth feel like screams 18 plus. Yeah. Approaching like maybe even 25. Maybe yeah, it easily can 25. be. It easily can be. It's that amazing. But who knows? Who knows? I know it's not super young. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Very curious to know. It's not less than 18 years old. Probably not. The finish lingers. Finish is nice and... Medium plus. Um, love the age, love the cask strain. How do you want to do this? Should we uh, score this now or should we drink them both and then score both? Let's try them both. Try them both and then score? Yeah, because okay. I'll go to. I'm going to um, have a tiny sip of the water. The same way, if we had just opened it, you wouldn't score that without trying that too. Is it, is it every Macau in the league, Sherry? That I don't know. Who knows? No, I, I, I don't know. I was when surprised. You sherry and it was more tropical fruits and whatnot. Well, like the brand ambassador, the the U.S. brand ambassador at the time, hey, he he told me that it was sherry. I was blown away. But obviously, I'm like, this must be like a third fill sherry, sixty five yeah, years. Could be like that. But it was so fruity. It was like tropical fruits. None of none of the typical uh, Macau flavors. The color was light too. Fascinating. It's more like that. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you ready to move on to this guy? Let's do it. All right. This one uh, is, again, we don't know how old, but the, the way they're presenting it is that this is the really, really aged one and bottled at 58.1% ABV. As you guys can see from this natural coloring, it's extremely dark, suggesting like a first fill European oak sherry cask from Spain. Yeah, and our age. And my, 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 it has the finest, finest quality of McAllen. And, and right off the bat, of course, we were, we were nosing this. You're still on that one? We're moved on, folks. No, I know. Well, you got to move on. We're doing a review, man. We're not just hanging out. Love these fruits. <laughs> All right, let's wait for Mike to uh, to get to the whiskey. He's drinking the other one. Mm. I'm getting another crazy nose. Let's go for it. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes it's hard when you're when you're drinking quality whiskeys to uh, to do to do review and realize there's a camera on you because you just want to enjoy the whiskey mm. more than more than concentrate on the review. Um, but but what I was saying before is this. Totally reminds me, and we've now tried um, Blue. two two vintage fine and rares. We reviewed both of them: a nineteen seventy six fine and rare, and a nineteen um, seventy two fine and rare. And it has that Macallan quality, that that rich, rich sherry, that style. It's that I've only gotten from the fine and rares before. We joke, and because, like he said, it's really hard to find uh, cask strength McAllen, even in their crazy releases now. We joke, it's like a super secret fine and rare, because it's just like that. It's, and it's obviously not single cask, because there's 1,953 bottles of it, but it's like that level of quality. It's insane. It's insane, amazing. Like, highest level possible of modern McAllen fine and rare. It's nuts. It is so. It's a. It's a, it's a Christmas cake party. Rich, rich, rich cinnamon Christmas cake. Oh my god! Damn, dude. 
dates and raisins. It's all the best qualities of Macallan. Just like Norma said. Dark notes going towards that espresso. Just gonna say. Chocolate. Sweet, dense nuts. chocolate. Yeah. High quality chocolate. Crazy. Like walnuts, deep walnut oil, cashew. Absolutely. Like chestnuts roasted for years. Insane, man. Almost like um, when you're saying cashews, like like I uh, I often do like cashew butter or cashew almond butter, butter on my toast like in the mornings. Oh. And and it's it's creamy like that, right? So like cashew butter, so like almond deep, butter. Deep, rich, aged cashew butter, almond butter. Honeycomb. Thick, like dark, rich, rich honey. Um, approaching like high quality, like rum. What's remind the Demerara sugars. Mm -hmm. I get crazy old, old furniture, old bookstores, old leather, old suitcase, dust everywhere. Wow. This is this is up there, the very, very best. This is up there. And the, the, the old, now, it doesn't have, like, that moldy funk necessarily. No, I don't get old funk. Old 60s Macallan. But it has, the, it has the old furniture, old bookstore dust quality of it. Suggesting it's, some crazy age. It's screaming 30, 30 plus years in, like, yeah. first Phil Sherry. That's what I'm getting at. It's screaming some crazy age, some crazy At cast strength. Complex. At cast strength. That's, like, what you get with fine and rare. It's hard to find outside of that. That's why you see... The demand for even just this half bottle has just skyrocketed because it's getting known. It's so special. Wow, Damn. this is amazing. And it's not. It's not even so much the your typical say Macallan eighteen flavors of just you know pure toffee and fudge and treacle and prunes and raisins. There, there is a lot of that in there, but it's more in the background. It's all these other crazy complex elements. It's actually pretty hard to find these days in Macallan. So special. You know what it is? It has it has a certain so sherry quality that you just don't you don't get. Like it's um like old school Springbank sherry has that that cola that vinaigrette yeah. and, and 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 um the that honey mustard stuff. It's not like that at all. And like you get like your regular Macallan eighteen, even the very best Macallan eighteens where it's like chocolate forward, and you definitely get that like ginger spice, the ginger cookies. But this is like such a deep, rich, rich sherry where it's not like super complex where it's like going all over the place like the old school, like um, the Springbank sherries. But the thing that it's doing, it's doing in a way that no other whiskey does. It's very and it's so hard to explain with words, but that's, that's, really, uh, that's really it. And I'm comparing it to the very best other sherried whiskeys. Yeah. And that's why I'm comparing it to like old Springbank sherry and stuff like that. It's not similar to that. It's very different. But I'm kind of like trying to figure out my score here. Um, and I'm comparing it to, to the very best. That's how good it is. Even and, though it's different. And even, even the, <clears throat> like the other Macallan Fine and Rares had crazy qualities and crazy deep rich cola. But this is even different from those. And in some ways, some ways even better. I like it a lot. Crazy complex. Yeah, I like it a lot. Very, very enjoyable. Very unique. I, see, I don't find it extremely complex. I'm mm -hmm. not finding it going in 10 million places. I'm saying it's doing like few things, but it's doing it in really such an amazing way. way. Yeah. Where I feel like that's what I was kind of trying to say earlier. Where oh, like God, the God. old school spring bang say it's the cherries, most complex, but not the most complex in terms of it's not doing 20 different things. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, uh, but the, 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 the few the things that it is doing, that we were, the notes we were talking about, is doing so, so well. Right, unique, unlike any yeah. other. Got it, cool. Palette, because I feel like we're like half hour into the review already. I, I forgot about the palette. Yeah, yeah let's no, do it. No, no, it I know, I know. Yeah. But we poured Tiny Grams, we're right. good. It is a double, okay. Dude, this is nutty. I got like two half drops of water out of that. It is bottled at 58.1. It is stuck. Just luscious, luscious mouthfeel. Really creamy, chocolatey. 
bitter espresso. Bitter coffee espresso. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah, bitter espresso, but then you get chocolate. And then you get the dried fruits. Then you get leather, tobacco. That that honeycomb. That orange, orange peel, that bitter orange. And your palate is salivating for more as as the finish keeps going. I get the most yeah. beautiful, deep, rich, aged, quality, dusty wood spice with the cigar with bitter, beautiful espresso on the side. Definitely cigar leaf. Insane. Like the leaf, right? Yeah. But not necessarily the tobacco. Well, I just mean like like you're you're puffing on <laughs> a deep, rich, peppery. Yeah. Spicy cigar from that wood spice combined Man. with an espresso or just a perfect coffee together. It's I'm so I'm so glad we didn't drink more of this. Absolutely. We saved it for all these years. And and like just like the nose, tons, tons of that uh, that Italian liqueur, Nocino, that walnut liqueur, tons of deep concentrated walnut oil, almond oil. Again, roast the chestnuts, like chewing on a thousand of them at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Deep, rich, and concentrated. Great value. That's kind, of, that's kind of like that nutty element. The chocolate, the fruit, the honeycomb. Honeycomb, yeah. That, that, that cigar element, the cigar wrap, almost like a sweet, sweet wrap. Those, it's just doing this in such a weird way. And, and the, the fruit element of it. It's just so condensed. It's like you take, instead of it being opened up like this, it's taken it all and just mushed it in a ball, right? Where it's like, it's it's there and it's just so condensed. Yeah. So, so, uh, so, so amazing. How, uh, the finish is incredible and finish forever is going. Forever, man. Yeah. Mm. All right. Beautiful dried fruits as well. Okay, I, I, I remember what I, you know, I remember what I was gonna score this one and this one. So this one, I would score this one at a I'm thinking Alright you guys, really uh, apologize. For some reason the video completely cut off and it was right when we were scoring them. So thank God the whole review is there, uh, but we never got to score these bottles um our score for the lighter one was the, a 90 right the bourbon cask we both gave 90. it wasn't a bourbon cask we recorded the video a while ago remember it was american oak share ah yeah and uh cask? yeah exactly we always keep thinking it is because of the color and then the european the European Oak Dark Sherry, we gave a 95. So we both gave the same score. So a 90 to this guy and a 95 to this guy. Most so, fair. yeah, this is unbelievable. I want another. But anyways, you guys, wanted to make sure that we got the score in there. I didn't just want to type it in. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys soon for many more reviews. Cheers. Cheers.